See, at different stages of life, like when a child is born, you, you can get heart disease at that point also because 1% of all live births will have some inborn heart disease. So if the child is not breathing well, properly, too rapid or is turning blue or is not taking the feed properly, then these are early signs that there may be something wrong. So the ch a child even in, in the first few days of life should be checked for any heart disease because now we have ways and means of doing it so that even the little baby can, can get their heart checked properly. Then of course if everything is well and as, you know, as the children are growing up, if they show signs of shortness of breath or palpitation like uh, Gabrat, then again they should be checked because there are children who may be born with say what we call a defective valve which does not show up early in life but in later at, in life they must when they start getting very active like 5 to 12 years of age you they, it may show up so basically what we are saying is if there is shortness of breath or a palpitation kind of feeling of rahat that a child gets then they will be checked out more importantly when children get rheumatic fever in their childhood, then later on in life, they may develop blockages in the heart, valves of the heart. And that comes normally at the age of 20 and above. So 20, 25, 30, but main symptom is shortness of breath. Either they get tired too easily or they get short of breath when doing some exercise like going up two flights of steps or things like that. Then comes the most dreaded of them all is what we call coronary artery disease, heart attacks. And that can start anywhere from 30 onwards. Now, typical symptoms of coronary artery disease is what we call angina. Angina is the chest pain, pressure, burning, which may come repeatedly after doing an activity. Well, if you are doing, walking fast or running or trying to climb stairs, and then you stop, it goes away. This is what we call classical angina. But there are some atypical types of angina also, you can get it, it may go into the jaw, it may be going into the back, but anything that happens repeatedly on either exercise or on, a, on when, you, when you get excited or get angry should be ruled out as coming from the heart. So that's the, the one that happens in midlife. Then again there are diabetics who may not feel chest pain, but their first system, symptom will be it's uh, again shortness of breath. So any of these symptoms anywhere along the line uh, in your life should be checked out for heart disease.